Hello dear students, welcome again to Chinmoy's YouTube channel. So already I have posted two videos on the sample question papers which is basically objective and I have discussed already in the previous lessons that uh, in the previous two uh, videos that uh, what type of objective uh, are going to come for your 2023 exam. In the first lot I have discussed about the alternative questions like multiple choice answers and in the second part I have uh, discussed about name the following. Now in yesterday's episode I have given you a suggestion of few important diagrams and flow charts for your uh, exam 2023 biology. Now in today's part I have uh, taken the part two that is the important diagrams of human anatomy and physiology. So if you have not gone through those um, lessons I am giving the link above go through them and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get you can get the updates in a sequential manner. So how I am teaching in a sequential manner you will be getting the updates in that way only. So let us start with today's discussion of important diagrams and flowcharts on uh, human anatomy and physiology. Now first in human anatomy and physiology comes the circulatory system. Now in the circulatory system, once we uh, enter the circulatory system, the structure of human heart is very important. So first we are going to discuss about the structure of human heart. So which is very important, structure of human heart. Then comes the structure of artery and vein. Then there is a diagrammatic relationship between the arteries, veins and capillaries. In whatever textbook you are following, uh, if you don't have that relationship between arteries, veins and capillaries, I have given when I have taught in the circulatory system, I have already given and if you want it, I will again give you. There is a diagrammatic relationship between arteries, veins and capillaries that is also very important and that is very important to know actually. Now next comes the flow chart which is representing the double circulation. Then the blood flow through the heart and it should be done with arrows. If you are not putting the arrows, the blood flow from which direction to which direction the blood is flowing, the flow of oxygenated blood as well as the deoxygenated blood, you will not be knowing. So the blood flow through the heart, the, um, uh, the process should be practiced with arrows always. Next comes the ABO blood grouping system. It is not a diagram. That is a chart which should be uh, known with the antigen and antibody. Whatever is there, the ABO blood grouping system chart should be uh, practiced. Then the types of leukocytes. Types of leukocytes you should all practice with different uh, diagrams and with labeling. So what type of uh, bilobed, trilobed, what are the types of leukocytes there are? You should practice that. And the human blood cell. So this is the circulatory system diagram, important diagrams. Now next what is there? Let us see. Next comes the human excretory system. So in human excretory system, the structure of the kidney with labeling, structure of nephron, structure of malfusion tubule and human excretory system full. So this human excretory system full means uh, these are the main diagrams and human excretory system there is a diagrammatic representation of human excretory system. You should study that. Now next comes the nervous system. When we come to nervous system first of all what comes to our mind is the structure of the neuron. So first comes to our mind is the structure of the neuron. So first we are going to discuss about the structure of the neuron. Then parts of human brain, it is very important parts of human brain, then reflex arc, then reflex arc you have been drawing from the very basic classes, you know all reflex arc, what is it, but all the, uh, all the labeling part which you have done in 10th standard, which are important for 10th standard should be done in this reflex arc. Okay, so the next one, now here when we you are drawing this reflex arc part, you should special mention should be mentioned to the like sensory nerve fiber, then posterior uh, root ganglion and all. Okay, so the motor nerve, the mixed nerve, what is taking the impulse towards and away. And there is that connector neuron also. So all those parts should be mentioned in this reflex arc, which showing the new in that central canal and all. So all parts should be labeled properly. Now in this nervous system next comes the human eye. So in human eye we will be discussing about the structure of the human eye. So a structure of the human eye diagram is very important. Then the image formation on the retina in near vision. So this all I have already discussed in my videos when I have taught the sense organ eye. So if you have not gone through those videos, please go through it. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel so that you can get to know all the videos which I have posted till now and all the lessons which I have updated. So go through them, read them properly and go through each and every part properly so that all the diagram should be very much clear to you. Next comes hypermetropia and its correction by convex lens. 
next is myopia and its correction by convex lens so these are all the main important diagrams of um, eye nervous system neuron brain and reflex arc and this is human eye hypermetropia image formation on the retina and myopia and its correction next comes the structure of the human ear so in sense organs first was eye second is ear now mechanism of hearing from here only you can show them the mechanism of hearing with a label diagram next comes the semicircular canals and course of perception of sound waves so these are all important diagrams of this nervous system so is it clear to all so please make a separate um, uh, copy where you are going to draw the diagrams where you are going to practice the diagrams with labeling so there is a, like one month time from now so if you uh, start practicing the diagrams with labeling now only and uh, you can just go through it or you can revise it before the day of your exam so it, it will help you to get good marks in your icsc next comes the endocrine system the endocrine system is the location of the endocrine glands in our body is very important you should know the location of endocrine glands in our body location of thyroid gland both exocrine and endocrine portions of pancreas so this is also very important this diagram is very important endocrine and exocrine portion of pancreas the pituitary gland location okay so these are all the diagrams of endocrine system important diagrams now next comes reproductive system so reproductive system we have divided into two parts first is the male reproductive system and second is the female reproductive system so male reproductive system we will draw the male reproductive system then we will draw the vertical section or sectional view of male pelvis so the sectional view of male pelvis should be drawn to show the male reproductive system then comes the structure of the sperm then comes the structure of the sperm and the lateral section of the testes is it clear so sectional view of male pelvis showing the reproductive system sectional view of male pelvis showing the reproductive system structure of the sperm sperm and the lateral section of the testes now next comes the female reproductive system in female reproductive system the first one is the female reproductive system itself so the female reproductive system next comes the structure of the ovum then the development of the embryo within the uterus and the ovum surrounded by the sperms there is a diagram where the ovum is surrounded by like millions of sperms that diagram is also very much important with the labeling and the development of human embryo within the uterus now the last lesson last two lessons are population and pollution so here no need of any diagrams no practicing diagrams so till now whatever suggestion i have given regarding diagrams in the first part basic physiology cell cycle and all go through that and in the second part human anatomy and physiology go through these diagrams only thoroughly so if you are going to through these diagrams thoroughly then only you will be getting all the common diagrams all the common flow charts and you will be getting very good marks when they are giving you the label diagrams that they if they are giving you the diagrams uh, and they tell you to label them if they are giving you the draw label diagrams in both the things you will be doing very well so go through it and i'll be uploading the next uh, post uh, very soon when where i'll be coming with a next set of objective type questions so first we will finish the objective questions and the diagrams then we will come up with the subjective papers and i'll be discussing with the subjective parts taking each an individual lesson at a time so we will go through each and every lesson at a time and it will be a quick revision for us before the exams okay all uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel all of you and keep on sharing my videos thank you